We're going to create a thesaurus which can be uploaded and shared through the Spinner Chief thesaurus exchange system. So this is the normal logon screen and you are asked this question through this user interface which thesaurus you want and you need to click this one to create a new empty thesaurus file. Click OK to that. Put the creator name in and your website if you have one nice description because this is the description that will be used on the site language English in this case but certainly if you've got a foreign language thesaurus that's fine I'm sure you should find your language here choose the appropriate language I'm going for a specialist niece th thesaurus here I'm going for pets dogs there we go click next to that now in here you need to put a password invent a password and put it in and the reason for this is so that people who download your thesaurus from the exchange system cannot then edit the thesaurus and re-upload it and sell it as their own is to protect your thesaurus so I'll put a password in don't put that one in whatever you do and now we're going to say this one is a charged thesaurus I want to upload it as a charged one ultimately so I'm going to click this button which puts a serial number here now click finish and we're ready to go oh, we just need to name the thesaurus and then we go to the software so how to create synonym groups well let's say you come across the word dog this is a pet thesaurus we come across the word dog and we want to create a group for it so what we're looking to do is enter a word on each line of this box here so we'd have dog pooch hound mutt don't worry about this bit up here we're not writing an article we're creating a thesaurus so we've got our four, four synonyms here now we'll click this down arrow and choose create new synonyms group once I've done that this red button appears if I click it it will make the synonym group permanent to the thesaurus so I'll click save and it's saved and that's the first group created now here's the really powerful thing about the creation process of Spinner Chief's thesaurus it's reciprocal like the reciprocal replace system and I'll explain to you what I mean if I just put these words in dog pooch hound and mud let's say these words appear later on in an article so I come across the word dog and there's the synonyms pooch hound and mutt but what if I come across the word pooch well it gives us dog hound and mutt and then the word hound gives us dog pooch and mutt and the word mutt gives us dog pooch and hound now that's what we mean by being reciprocal and what it means is you can create a thesaurus from scratch very very quickly because if for example you have an average of 10 synonyms for each word group then you're going to create a thesaurus 10 times faster than you would do with normal software with other types of spinning software so it's a very very fast way of creating a thesaurus especially if it's from the ground upwards now there is another way of doing this uh, you can use the default thesaurus as a base for your own thesaurus because uh, it's one thing to type in a bunch of specialist niche keywords but you don't want to be having to do all the standard stuff like hello hi how are you that sort of thing as well so you can use our spinner chief default thesaurus as a base and create that as a paid thesaurus with a serial number like we did earlier 
and then start adding your specialist niche words and synonyms to that thesaurus. So what I'm going to do now is pause this video, close down Spinner Chief, and I'm going to uh, reopen it with the default thesaurus to show you this. Back in a mo. Okay, Spinner Chief has been restarted, this time with the default thesaurus. And this is the screen you get. Uh, this is just an information screen. Just close it off. Go into the software. And now you need to go into the Synonyms Management tab. Manage Current Synonyms and Modify. Now you can edit this, so I'll do the same as we did earlier with the new thesaurus. Yep. Uh, here we go, it doesn't really matter. English. Now, I want this to become a chargeable one. So I'll click there, and a serial number appears. And all I have to do now is create my password. Remember, don't use that password. <laughs> Invent your own. Click Save Changes. That's it done. Now, the default thesaurus that I was using has now become a paid one. One that I'm going to add to with my specialist niche terms. Okay, that concludes the uh, video tutorial on how to create a thesaurus and how to create one that is ready to be uploaded and shared, either free or charged. In the next video, we'll look at how to operate the thesaurus exchange system as a member. Thank you for watching.